Mortal, your time has... Oh, for the love of... You again? It's been less than a week. How could you possibly die again that fast? My record is two hours. Yeah, I know. I was there. You know, when I get assigned to someone at the beginning of their life, it's assumed I'll only be seeing them once. But you... I can't even count how many times I've seen you. Is that so? <laughs> what does it matter if you've been keeping count since you were 12? You started dying at 7. <sighs> I'm beginning to feel like not all of these deaths are accidents. Or you playing the hero. Sometimes. I could believe you'd die just to bother me. Fine, fine, that's a bit uncharitable. I know dying isn't fun, but repeat customers aren't exactly good for Reaper morale. Look, management is already tilted about immortals in the first place. If I go complaining about having to deal with one assigned to me, it's just gonna stress everyone out more. And I cannot handle that kind of office drama. Even if I went to the trouble, I doubt I could get you reassigned. Yeah, so I'm stuck with you for however long you keep this up. See you next death. Huh? Well, what's the point? I can't bring you across the threshold. I can't do anything. In approximately five minutes, you're going to spring back to life good as new. Why do I need to be here for that? Uh... I'm better at keeping people company on the way to the afterlife. <sighs> Fine. Break time, then. I wish I smoked or something. Well, it probably wouldn't do anything for me. Or to me. Yeah, can't get diseases when you're death. I can't really feel what makes it addictive, so I'd probably just have a not-very-fun time and smell like tobacco after. Don't you start either. Immortality doesn't fix cancer, so you'd be stuck in a pretty bad loop if you got it. I'm not in on all the details, and I couldn't tell you even if I was. Something about immortals getting reckless if they knew everything about how their condition works. Not that it stops you. No, you misunderstand. If we knew how immortals happen, and exactly how they work, then we'd be able to stop you guys from being immortal. Probably. The information we have is just the data collected from various immortal... deaths. Easy to have a better idea of what the deal is when you've got all of humanity as a sample size. But that still doesn't teach us everything. No, immortals haven't always existed. That's why management is so upset about them. Messes up the system. I'm not gonna tell you how long they've been around. Can't. And even if I could, I wouldn't. I feel like just telling you what I already have is going to be a headache later. No. If you want to know what things you specifically can't survive, you're welcome to do your own testing. But don't. Because I have other things to do than babysit your spirit. So, how did you do it this time? I asked like that because it's usually your fault. Like I said. And since when are you qualified to be an electrician? <sighs> Hopefully this convinces your friend to hire a professional. Why did you even offer? I bet they're freaking out right now. I could look, since we're on the edge of the living world. 
but it's not like knowing that would get you to revive any faster. Still, pretty wasteful. Of time and resources. You know what someone does when their friend falls to the floor after messing with wires? They call an ambulance. An ambulance that you're not going to need. Wasteful. They weren't in the room with you. Isn't that worse? Like you wouldn't freak out and feel way more responsible if you left your friend to deal with something, only to hear a shock and a thump coming from the other room? You think they won't even notice. Are you really friends with this person or trying to frame them for something? You're planning to wake up before they find you. You're so dumb. Well, tell them to call an actual electrician when you do. This has got to be one of the dumbest ways you've died. Not the dumbest, but close. That's easy. It'd have to be the time you thought that it was a good idea to keep eating something that made your throat itch. Until you couldn't breathe anymore. That's still dumb even for a child. But the runner-up would definitely be all the times you've fallen down the stairs. Combined. At least you learned from the allergy incident. I don't know, do some balance exercises? Take the elevator instead? Watch where you're going instead of living like you've got nothing to lose? <sighs> Do the people in your life just know you'll wake up like a cartoon character after getting bonked on the head? Well, good thing no one's suspicious about your reputation. Don't you think it would be bad if people found out you could shrug off a nuke? Damn it, didn't mean to tell you that. But if that does happen, you'll wish you could die. Are you ready to get up yet? Good, then head back to the land of the living. And stop playing with live wires. I doubt you were close to fixing it. If I have to come back to you having broken your time between death's record, I really will leave you to stew by yourself. Now get going. Finally, there's such a handful. Well, just a quick check won't hurt. <laughs> Idiot. They did notice. But at least you woke up before they called for help. I gotta get out of here. Fortunately, they stopped doing noisy electrical work outside just in time for me to record this audio, and you guys didn't have to listen to 10 minutes of me giving my opinion on Uber Eats instead.